Hi everyone, welcome to my screencast tutorial. This tutorial is going to show you how to use the basic editing functions of the video editing software Adobe Premiere Pro. And this tutorial is in conjunction with my blog, articulation.photo.blog, where I share my own creative works, works that inspire me, and of course, my films. Um, if you're a creative person like myself, you are probably going to have to edit video at some point. Um, so I'm here to show you how to do it and show you the ropes. So we're gonna start by opening up Adobe Premiere and um, creating a new project. Okay, so now that Premiere has launched, I'm gonna take you through the different editing features that I'm gonna show you in this tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to import media. I'm gonna show you how to cut your clips, how to put audio effects onto your clips, how to color correct, and of course, how to export your final project. So first, we're gonna start by learning how to import. We're going to go over to the edit room in Premiere. This is where you're going to be spending most of your time. Go to file, import, and now you're going to pick your video clip. I'm going to be using a film that I shot on Super 8 film last semester. You click the video file and click import. Easy. Now it appears down here on the bottom left in your media browser. In order to make edits to this video, you have to click it and drag it into the timeline. This is going to create a sequence. So I'm going to click, drag. Now that we have a video in the timeline, I'm going to show you how to cut a clip. You're going to take the playhead and stop it at a point that you would like to make a cut. I'm going to stop it right here. You're going to go over to the left, click the razor tool, go onto your clip, and cut exactly at the playhead. Now you've just made a cut. This means that you can edit these two clips separately. You can also move them around in the timeline. So let's move that one over. I'm gonna make some more cuts on the clips and I'll be back in a second. Now that we have more cuts in our clips, I'm gonna show you another feature, which is using audio effects in Adobe Premiere. To do this, we are going to need to import some audio. So I'm going to go down into my downloads and import the song that I downloaded. The sound is taken from freesound.com and it will be credited at the end. The same way that we uh, dragged our video into the timeline, we're gonna click and drag the audio into the timeline. I'm going to put it at the end. But let's say we want to add a fade in and fade out at the beginning and end of the audio. We're going to go to the top, click Effects. I'm going to move myself over so you can see. Go to Audio Transitions, Crossfade, and Exponential Fade. You're going to click and drag this effect onto the beginning and end of the audio clip. Let's use this bar down here to zoom in. As you can see, the tail end and the front of the audio clip have this little brown bar that indicates a fade. Let's see how it sounds with the fade. This adds a nice, subtle effect to any audio in your project. Let's try to edit some of the color. We're going to go into color. Let's edit this first clip. Adobe Premiere gives lots of options for color correction, but let's just take you through the basics. This involves temperature, tint, exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. Let's say this image is a little too cool toned. We're going to click the dot under temperature and drag it a bit over to the oranges. Notice how it warms up the image a bit. Let's also say that I think it's too green. We're going to click the dot and drag over some pink. The result is a warm image as opposed to a cool one. We're finally ready to export our finished project. We're gonna go under File, Export, Media. It pulls up this screen, which is the export screen. There are many different options to toggle with for export settings. For most of my projects, I export to H.264. Next, you can change the name of your output file by clicking on Output Name, and changing the name. You can also choose where you want it to be exported to. I'm going to choose the desktop. Click Save. Make sure that Export Video and Audio is checked. And another step I like to make sure I do is click Use Maximum Render Quality. This is going to give you the best possible image. Now that all of our settings for export are set up, we can click Export. And now we wait. 
Okay, we're done. We're exported. Here it is. All right, and that's how you use the basic editing features of Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you learned something. If you did, please like this video, share it on your social media platforms, and make sure you subscribe down below. If you edit your next project on Premiere and follow this tutorial, please send me a link so that I can see it. And make sure you check out my other posts on articulation.photo.blog. Stay tuned.